Oh my goodness. I almost missed my time. I almost, I almost missed my time. So hey y'all, hey y'all, how y'all doing? Um, happy Tuesday. Welcome to TV on the I know what I do, just what I'm here for. We are here. Here for the next installment in my um, called um, Health and Wellness, My Ozempic Journey. Now, like I said, if you have been under a rock, you don't watch TV or you, you missed it, then you wouldn't know what Ozempic was or Munjara or Rigovi or even any weight loss drugs that you've been talking about, okay? okay but that's what I'm talking about. And in the first video, it's okay. It's okay because it's on my YouTube channel. Go ahead, skip on over to my YouTube channel, Tracy Knight. You'll know me. You'll know you know me when you see me. Subscribe. Put your little notification on so you know when I go live. So tonight I am streaming this to um, both my Facebook page and my um, YouTube channel. Now, I may not do it every week to the Facebook page, so you're going to have to skip on over to the YouTube channel. So I figured I better let you guys know this one time because maybe next time it's just going to be straight YouTube. I'm going to go live on YouTube and be done with it. Okay? So... Just to give you a little bit of a background here, um, I recently went to the doctor because I was concerned about my health. I mean, I've always been concerned about my health. Let's just keep it real. But I've not been doing the best I could for my health. Um, excuse me. I feel like I was going to do something with my hands. Anyway, um, I went to go see my doctor because I noticed that my blood sugar is high. I use the um, Freestyle Libre system. That's the little sensor. You know, and I use the app so I can read my sugar levels on my phone. It does come with a reader, but I can use my app. Um, I use that to to gauge my sugar levels. And I also have the one where you stick your little fingers, but I get tired of doing that because I get tired of doing that. Mm, you know what I mean? So, um, but I do occasionally still stick my fingers because if it's a little high on my app, I want to double check it with the little Livongo system that I have. And they pretty much say the same thing. Your sugar is high. So, um, and I also use an app based on what my sugar level is to gauge what my A1C probably is. And it's high. It's high. When I went to go see my doctor after the lab work, it was a nine. And it just is way too high. And I really, really got knocked upside the head because I really need to be around for myself and for my family. I mean, we got kids. We got kids. We're having kids. And I, I want to be around for all of that for as long as God, you know, allows me to. So, Talk to the doctor, and he he prescribed Monjaro. Like I said, you go back to the first video, you know how that just did not work. Um, and then we settled on Ozempic. Now, um, let me show you. Let me show you what I got. Let me show you what I got. So Ozempic primarily is a type two diabetes drug. Now I know that everybody in their mama and the superstars, whatever, is come out using it because they got this extreme weight loss and everything else. And yay, good for them, but that's not what it was for. It's not FDA approved for weight loss. Um, Ozempic is not. Mujaro is not. Uh, well, Govi is because doctors who prescribe that are prescribing to their patients who they have um, gauged as clinically or morbidly obese. And they need to lose weight. Now, what we'll, we'll go for is a weight loss drug. All of these are prescribed by your doctors. But in the beginning, when these new drugs hit the market and, you know, everything else like that, doctors were prescribing it so these people could lose weight, though they were not diabetics. That's a whole other issue. We're not going to judge on that. Okay, well, that's not what we're here for tonight. Anyway, but I needed something that's going to help uh, lower my A1C as well as help lower my, my glucose, um, my, my blood sugar levels. All right. So, um. This is what he gave me, or he didn't give me, he prescribed, okay? All right, and, and most insurances will cover it if you're a type 2 diabetes, because now Ozempic, Munjaro, are, um, it's getting harder for people to just get it for weight loss because insurances are no longer covering it for that. You have to be a type 2 diabetic and it has to be PA approved, okay? Um, so it's getting a little harder, but... All that influx of people trying to get it for weight loss has caused a shortage. So some people are having a hard time getting their meds. Come on, y'all, do, do the right thing. Do the right thing. Anyway, so he gave this to me um, so that I can help lower my A1C and lower my sugar levels. And um, like I said, I started on the 24th of uh, January. And I have, at this point, taken two 
injections. This is a once weekly injection. It goes sub subcutaneous underneath the skin. Okay, you don't want to put it in your muscle. It goes underneath the skin. Um, and you can do it any day of the week you'd like, but then you do it on the, the next week on the same day. You can do it in the morning, evening, afternoon, before bed, anytime during the day, and you can do it with or without food. So you don't have to worry about that. So, oh my God, I gotta take my Olympic at six o'clock and I'm in traffic. No, you can, when you get home, go ahead and take a shot. I chose to do it on Tuesday because due, due to the whole genre debacle, it messed up my whole plan. And um, I couldn't do it on Monday, so I'm doing it on Tuesdays, right? Which is why we're here Tuesday. Now, I know I was with you guys Friday, but I wanted to catch you up so that you'd be on tap because I'd already done the first injection and the second injection. So now let me tell you, let me tell you, the side effects are nausea, vomiting, diarrhea, constipation, um, sometimes dehydration because if you get diarrhea really bad, you get dehydrated or whatever, and you can have some fatigue, right? Um Thanking God, knocking wood, I have not had the vomiting. I could not stand that. I have had the cases of nausea since my first shot on the 24th of January. Um, but it hasn't really been bad. It's like one too many roller coaster rides bad. You know, it, I got some ginger ale and I got some ginger tea. So that helps, you know, calm my little stomach down and it eases the nausea. Now, like I said, I've had the first two shots. In those first two weeks, I had a little bit of nausea. Like I said, I got my ginger ale, but nothing else major was going on. Except for the second part of the week after the second injection, the the, the fatigue set in. I mean, when I say I can barely stay awake during the day, I can barely stay awake during the day. So I'm looking for a way to combat that. You know what I mean? So that I won't feel like I'm going to go to sleep. Because I was at work today. I, mm, it was a it was a it was a struggle to stay awake and i had a good night's sleep um and so when i got off the, the video with you guys on friday i went to bed and i slept but i was so so exhausted i didn't even want to get out of bed saturday i didn't want to move i didn't want to do anything but i knew i had to i knew i had to so i made myself get up do what i need to do um, it was a long day. It made for a long day. So I have noticed that since the second shot, I have had some extreme exhaustion. Um, it's taken everything I got to hang out with you guys now. Um, uh, like I said, I was supposed to be at work. I've had the nausea, but it seemed to have eased a little bit since I took the injection. My last injection I took was today. Today is the sixth. It was on the, um, 31st, right? So... Yeah, because today's the seventh. Sorry if I've been saying it's the sixth. Today's the seventh. So I um have noticed the exhaustion, but I've noticed that the nausea has gone down. And when I do feel nausea, the ginger ale really does help. Um, I don't have any of the diarrhea, the constipation, and like I said, there's no vomiting. Now, when my doctor prescribed this, you know, he took into consideration all the medicines that I was taking, um, the lab work that we had done, and he prescribed me um, on Exempic with 0 0.25 milligrams for the first two injections. And then to finish out this three months, because I got two more boxes of these, and this box has a month's worth of injections, four injections in the one pen, okay? So I was to take two at 0.25 milligrams, and then two more of this pen at point, 0.5 milligrams, okay? So today I am increasing the dosage. I'm a little concerned um, because, like I said, I don't like being sick to the tummy, um, but I haven't had the nausea that bad, and I'm hoping that those first two injections kind of introduce my body to what's going on. But I'm about to increase my dosage with tonight's injection, all right? So, like I said, this is this is the box that came in. I'll show you what the pen looks like. All right, here's the pen. I'm not going to put the needle and stuff on it right now because you know what? Me and my injection thing, that's a private issue right now. It's between us. I don't need y'all seeing my skins. Anyway, so here's the pen. You see it? That's the pen. And right here, right here in this window is where you would see your dosage, right? It'll pop up there. Um, you take this off. That's where you're going to put your needle, right? And when you're doing it, they say, make sure when you're looking at it, it's clear. 
Now you can put this in the refrigerator, but you should probably take it out about 20, 30 minutes before you get ready to inject. And then again, make sure it's clear. Um, and then they have instructions for every new pen. You got to make sure the flow is going, um, going right. And if you guys want to see that, just let me know, drop a comment or whatever. And I will, the next, you know, next time I do it, I'll share that with you. I'll share that moment with you. Um, and it also came with the little needles that I'm going to need when they're in here somewhere. There you go. Those are the needles, right? A couple extra. Um, and like I said, this has four injections in it. Two at 0.25 and then the other two at 0 0.50. And I'm starting 0 0.50 today. So I'm a little, um, little apprehensive, a little nervous um, because like I said, the exhaustion has really kicked in. The nausea stepped back, but I don't know what's going to happen when I increase the doses. But the best part of it all, y'all, the best part, part of the reason I started this journey is to take down my A1C. I've noticed that with the, the numbers of my um, sugar levels, the average has brought my um, sugar level down in the last 30 days, according to the app that I use. Um, it's a 7.9. Wow. From a nine, y'all. From a nine. That's cool. Um, and my weight... Y'all, now my sugar level has still been doing the whole 200s and something. Two, and, I, and this new sensor will go off when it goes over 250. So I'm thinking that um, it's because when I eat, when I do eat, um, you know, of course, it's going to raise my sugar level. And I've had to remember to eat because today I didn't have much to eat. Um, all day I ate some grapes for lunch and I was full. But you got to remember this, you know, to eat. You still have to eat. You just don't have to overeat. Your, your body and your brain is going to tell you when to stop. So just make sure you get plenty of vegetables, um, water, some protein, so that you are still giving yourself the nutrients and stuff. You, you just don't want to overdo it. All right. Now, when I started on June, on January 24th, my weight was, I said it was, 242 pounds. I know. I know I made it look good. I made it look good. Okay. But on January 24th of 2023, I was 242 pounds. Now, I'm only 5'3, y'all. That's a little thicker than I want to be. A little thicker than I want to be. Okay. So after week one, when I weighed myself for the Weight Warriors on the 30th, okay, I weighed in at 238.6 pounds. So I lost just about four pounds. Right, right. I know, I know. That was like, oh my god, in one week, four pounds, yay! So then I weighed in again. Um, because I weighed on the 30th, and then I weighed in yesterday, Monday, and I weighed in at 237 pounds. So I've lost 1.6 pounds in the last week. Now you think, oh, you lost four, how you 1.6? First of all, I ate. Even though I got full, some of the stuff I ate, I probably didn't eat. When I shouldn't have eaten. Like I can look back and say I probably had more bread than I probably should have had. Um, I did have some, you know, regular proteins like chicken and fish, but I had a couple of sandwiches. It, mostly, I bet it was bread. I bet it was bread and pasta. So I got to watch what I'm eating. Even though I get full faster, I need to watch what I'm eating, okay? But I did lose 1.6 pounds. So in the last two weeks, I've lost about 5.6 pounds. Let's just round it up, almost six pounds. How about that, right? And that's on the 0.25 milligram dosage. So I'm going to be upping that up tonight. As soon as I get off with you guys, I'm going to go ahead and do my shot. So I'm excited about that um, because even when I try doing it on my own, I get to a certain weight and I, I plateau. And then it doesn't go anywhere and I eat and then it just goes up and then it goes back down. I, I just can't do it. So hopefully this will keep me on the track of going down in addition to helping me find healthy ways to eat. And so that hopefully when I can come off of this medicine, I can um, have, you know, put myself together on a habit of eating healthier. Right. So that I don't blow up because people say when you get off these medicines, whether it's Ozempic, Mujara, or uh, Wigovi, you tend to gain some of your weight back. OK, which kind of makes sense. But I'm not trying to gain a whole lot of it back. I really don't want it. Once it's gone, I really want to pack his bags and go and forget where I live. That, that's just the way I see. So I've been keeping track of my little weight loss here. Right. So there's week one. There's week two. 
And next week, um, Monday, I'll weigh in again. I did this one out. Two, six, twenty-three. So there you have it. So I'm going to go ahead and jump right off. But I want you guys to know I'm doing okay so far. Um, like I said, the nausea has kind of died down a little bit. The exhaustion is real. So if anybody knows or has taken this and has gone through this exhaustion, let me know. Because I would love to be able to stay awake all day without, especially when I'm at work. Okay. I can't be taking naps at my desk. So I need, you know, somebody can give me some ideas on how I can stay awake through the day. Um, and since I'm up in this dosage today, I got my my um, ginger ale on standby. Um, I got a lot of snack foods. I don't know if y'all saw, I posted the cottage cheese and fruit thing. Oh, um, it was different. I will say that it wasn't nasty because food is not. My mother say food ain't nasty. You just don't like it, okay? So I'm somewhere between nasty and I don't like it. Okay, I haven't got to the I don't like it point portion yet because I'm trying something different and different ways to have this cottage cheese. I already knew I was gonna have a plane, so we're incorporating fruit. I've got ideas about people are giving me ideas about cinnamon and honey and other fruits. So I'm going to work that out because um, I need to eat less and I can only eat a little bit at a time. So I want it to be good, whatever it is I'm eating. Uh, so if anybody's got any questions, suggestions, criticisms, I take constructive criticism. I really do. I have a problem with it. Um, let me know. Um, and I'm going to check in with you guys um, on next Tuesday so that you'll find out, number one, if there's been any weight loss for the week. And how I made it through the week, if there were any changes in the side effects, did I get any, did they get worse, or did I just not have any at all? Because it really is an individual thing. Um, those are the side effects that a certain percentage of people have felt and reported, but not everybody goes through it the same way. It, it's, no, you can't. How are you going to do that? You're an individual. You, you do you. So thanks for hanging out with me on this journey. Um, it's different. Um, I actually had to get myself out of the mindset that I'm on medicine because I'm sick, because that's what I was actually thinking. I'm not sick. I feel fine. I am a type 2 diabetic, and I have medicine for it, but I also have high blood pressure, asthma, and I suffer from migraines, but I can't walk around like this. Uh, uh, I can't, okay? So I feel fine, but I had to get myself out of it, because starting this medicine, I had to think, you know, I'm sick, but I'm not sick, okay? So I can't be walking around like I'm sick. All right, I'm taking medicine to help myself and help my health, right? So I'm there now. I'm there now. I, I'm over that. So I'm just waiting to see if it's going to do what it needs to do and incorporate it into whatever healthy lifestyle I'm joining into because I'm going toward a healthy lifestyle. And if Ozempic's going to get me there with my A1C lowering and my, my glucose levels lowering, then I am for it. Uh, am I a little scared? I got to say, maybe. I think so. I'm not sure why, because I know God's got me. But hey, I'm just keeping it real. But I have a great doctor, and I've got the meds I need to take care of the things that I need. So in the meantime, in between time, until I see you guys again, enjoy the rest of this week. Come back and join me on next Tuesday. We'll find out if and how much weight I lost this past week, and if in any um side effects I may have gone through, just to let you know how I'm going on this journey. And like I said, if you got any questions, go ahead and please ask. Y'all have a great night, and I will see you right here next Tuesday on TK TV. I love you so much. Bye.